Hi guys, what is up and welcome back. We're watching Attack on Titan Season 4, Episode 10. I attempted to do a Valentine's Day theme makeup and I think it's, uh... I tried to use some glitter on my eyelids that I never use ever and, uh, I, I don't, I don't know how to do that. But I mean, hopefully on camera it looks fine. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad. And although I don't think this holiday is very important for many people, whether you're spending it alone or whatever, I want to send genuine love for you guys. Um, I want, to me, I see it as a day to either spoil or just express how much you care about somebody. That's it. It's just a day to c commemorate that. That's it. So last week we got to see some backstory about um, how the Marley crew ended up getting to the island and how... They ended up learning from them and stuff like that. And then now they have actually, they seem to have uh, Zeke in captive as well as the people that he's with. The other Marleans, it seems like they're like, have them at gunpoint and they're just like, you know, because, you know, they're being super, super cautious. So anyways, I guess we're going to continue off from there. We also have, you know, Eden, that's, we have Armin that's talking to a still 16 or whatever year old Annie and stuff like that. That's you know, blocked off in the, the crystal, in the flipping hardened skin, I guess you could say. Eren is tying up his hair. Eren is tying up his hair. <laughs> Yo, that meme is going everywhere. Just Mikasa. Eren. <laughs> He's tying up his hair and in front of a mirror self-reflection. But yeah, so we're going to jump into it and see what goes down. Episode 10, y'all. And she is just... <laughs> Yo, she's always so fucking... This girl, the way she... <laughs> Yo, she's so funny, I can't! Oh, she said it too, damn! <laughs> oh my god guys that interaction was so weird like i loved it i loved it so much hanji was hanji she was just hanji and it's just like i felt like girl i feel like this is not the time though and then of course i didn't yell at her like what the hell do you want Oh, he's so angry. Oh. I'm like so bitter about this. Like, oh, and then, and then, dang, she she actually came and freaking harassed him, Loki. What fight? Fight? Huh? I heard you say that twice. He said fight. What does that mean? Fight? Like the way she questioned him about talking in front of the mirror, like sis. <laughs> And then she's like, your hair, by the way, it looks good, you know, it looks like you did it on purpose, though. <laughs> oh, gosh. A sound, right, it was called a sound argument. Two years ago, oh my gosh, we're like... <laughs>
Wow, that's deep. Dang. Ooh. I mean, Eden was Eden, like. <laughs> For real? <laughs> Oh my god, a smiling edit. <laughs> oh, if it wasn't for Zeke Jaeger? Dang, for real. Why she had to lick her lips? How can you do that? Show a part of it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> They're not effing with it. <laughs> yeah, okay. So they trying to... Dang. He has spoken. <laughs> mm. Ah, you know what? I have a thought. I have a thought. Guys, <laughs> I thought of this. I was like, hold on a minute. And then, and then of all people is kind of like going off and doing things on his own and kind of like being all like secluded and dark and all of this. And I'm just, I sat there thinking like, yo, what's up with all that for real? And a thought came to me. I don't know if it's true or if it has any relevance. Please don't answer but a thought came to me because season three, the previous owner of the Attack Titan had a moment where he was like, we have to protect Mikasa and Armin or something like that, like to protect Mikasa and Armin. And I was just like, huh? I still, I still to this day don't even understand. Like, I was like, wait, like, and it seems like when he said it, he didn't really know why he said it. So it's as though... The memory was there, it came to him, but he doesn't even know who they are or where it came from. And then I'm just like, yo, does he have the same thing? Is he getting glimpses or ideas of the future and that's why he's acting of his own accord? You know what I mean? I'm like, maybe this whole thing that he did was something that told him he had to do that in order to pre prevent something in the future. Like, in order to protect his people that was the course of action that had to be taken or something y'all that's the thought that came to me i get the feeling he can kind of see the future or something anyways i don't know that's just that would make sense to me i ate the word Oh, dang. And then... Ha! Ah, dude! Oh! <laughs> That's what she says! <laughs> oh my goodness. This is your one and only mistake. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Dang.
Wait, so whose kid is that? Oh. Oh, gee. Oh. Well, so she knew, I guess. Uh, but I don't think that's the case, though. Wait, am I missing something? Like, wasn't she just trying to bear a child first? I mean, I don't know if- I'm not sure if her intention is still to inherit the Beast Titan or not. But I mean, why are they acting as though, like, now she cannot inherit the Beast Titan? She chose to have a kid first, I guess? I mean, it's nine months. Like, I guess they cho she chose to have a kid first. This dude's acting as though, like... Yeah, but obviously not while she's pregnant, guys. Oh, what? This is the recommended one. What? That looks exhausting, y'all. And that's true. Actually, so jokes. Dude, dude, dude actually. Look at his angry face. Oh. How dare you guys get that? How dare you guys get so big like that? Oh my god, the fact that he actually. Actually, Vex. <laughs> Dang. You know what? That's actually so good in a way. You want to know why? Because they, even when uh, Will Tiber. When he was on stage, he was deliberately trying to express their danger and, you know, everything like that and how dangerous they are. He wanted to manipulate the, the view, create a fair, like, view, um, so that everyone could see, like, you know, that they possess that much power and they could potentially be a danger to us. They specifically wanted them to appear dangerous. So, honestly, they just really, with what they've done now they've done that for sure but if they just went on over like hey we're from parody and uh, we wanted to make your acquaintance like <laughs> and they kind of just pulled up like this what a lovely place you have here you know we never knew this was across the sea you know we just have titans sent our way but uh yeah so everything's all good you know we're just here to take a look around see the new people uh learn about the world <laughs> if they came on some some positive energy like that they can't just slaughter them that would look bad. That would not look good. So that's an interesting idea, honestly. If they just pulled up <laughs> their neighbor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why does she sound like a whole woman? Like, I didn't expect her to have this voice and to talk like this. Sasha, do you hear her voice and how she spoke? She looks all like, like a lady. <laughs> All right, dude. But very easily it might not change because a lot of people need something to hate. 
This fact is so depressing to me, I don't think you understand. Mm. Oh, I don't like this conversation. Uh, <laughs> it's like, this is the part that I don't think about. Like, it's true. And then it's gonna die soon, you know? Like, soon. And then someone has to inherit his... What? No! Come on, we need plot armor. How do you make his lifespan longer? What? It's probably also why he's trying to do everything, like... Maybe he wants to do things that he doesn't want the others to have to do. What? <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Man, none of y'all want anyone to get it, that's all. It's like funny, but like they're serious. <laughs> Look at his face. He was really, sh he was really like so confused. He was like, <laughs> he was in shock. He was just like, but you said an idiot can't. Huh? <laughs> Hershey's just like, huh? Okay, now for what he just said, I'm not letting any of you inherit it. See? That's why he's like doing everything. He wants to get it done. I want you guys. And what about Armin? You got Armin too. What's gonna happen to him and his Titan? trying to clean that real quick oh <laughs> I'm blushing at it oh that's so cute what am I ever gonna see a blushing at it again oh I'm telling you he knows something about the future did he look Mm. Oh, the shaky camera. But I, th I think it was more like a hysterical, like, I don't think it was... I actually didn't remember this, but I think I saw a picture <clears throat> of when, what was his name again? The guy that they used to know that, um, from, from the first time that they got attacked, uh, I forgot what his name is, there was H, the blonde dude that couldn't, that couldn't protect the mother the first time and then afterwards he died and one that drinks all the time, the guard, this, you know what I'm talking about, him. I think, I think Anan also kind of laughed, cried when he died i think i saw a picture and i think that's what it was and it was like saying how he responds to that type of thing Ooh. 
I'm telling you he can see the future or something. Ah, what? Every single episode I still feel like there's so much I don't know or that, I mean, that is the case though. They keep throwing all this, 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 but I st we, I'm not any further, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't want to, you know what, nah, we're not going to do a preview just because I don't like, the way they ended was ominous. The way they showed Eden, we'll talk to him. And then they showed Zeke, hmm. It ended in a very, like, ominous way, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to watch the preview. Alright, so currently we're getting a lot of story, a lot of backstory, and I'm very, very pleased with that. Um, I really, I really, I love the moments, you know, with everybody just before everything, just before Eden kind of popped off. Um, but I also would really like to know more about Eden popping off. And I've already given an idea. I feel like maybe at some point in time he had, he got a glimpse of something. That's my guess right now because based on the Eden that I know now, and the Eden, it seems, from before. Like, when he was blushing and everything, the railroad, that Eden. They're two different Edens. They're the same Eden, obviously. But they're two different ones. One, that's woke. Or, I think I'm gonna have to say woke. I don't know what it is. But a change like that, it seems like there's one that's woke. Okay, he knows something. And the other one, he did not know much more than anybody else. For him to be going along with Zeke's plan... Which we don't even know how much, how far he's really going to go along with Zeke's plan. But maybe Zeke also knows a little something about the future. They're probably the only two that might know a little something. They're the only two that know something. Either Zeke has his own plan and Eden is going along with it to a degree. But then Eden actually knows something and is really acting of his own accord because of that something. Or they both know the same something. <laughs> or, and then there's the only one that knew about it, but he spoke to Zeke. I don't know, child. But I'm just saying that change in behavior is not something that he just one day sat in his room and decided to deduce in his own. This is how I'm going to proceed on my own. Like, this is someone that knows something and knows he has only a certain amount of time left to do it. That's how I see it, okay? Um... He does not want to sacrifice Historia. Uh, he wants them to live long. He does. He does not want... I don't think he wants to pass down the Titan. Does that make sense? I don't think he wants to pass down the Titan. I think he wants to die with it. But I kind of forgot how that works. If you die with the Titan, the Titan disappears, right? Or does it get reborn? Ooh, I actually don't know that information. That's really awkward. Um, but I think it dies. I think it dies with him. I think it dies with him. I don't know, I guess maybe that's his goal, or he just really does not want to pass it down to any of the close people to him, like, whatever it is, I think he wants to solve this everything in the time he has left. That's the best way I can see, based on how he's acting, fight, 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 keep going, he's lashing out, he's frustrated because he's on, like, a timer, and, like... He's, he's fighting the world like this is not a joke and the point about him bringing Mikasa and Armin to the front lines and you know everybody including Yasasha she died I don't know really like I don't know what to say about that I'm guessing these are the only people he could trust and it's true like they went off for him but it is a tiny 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 bit contradictory but then, like I said, like, what if he could see the future? What if he knew Sasha was going to die? What if he knew Sasha was going to die? And then he hated that he actually sacrificed that, but he knew she was going to die. And he saw the future. Or he saw a future where she says, Nick. Because that's when he started laughing or la crying. I don't know what the heck really he was doing. He was like, eh, like, he was like laughing, crying. When he's like, he asked immediately what, immediately what were her last words. And as soon as he said the last words, that's when he reacted. So maybe he, maybe he saw that. Maybe he didn't know she was going to die, but he, he had a glimpse of her maybe saying that word. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just racking up what my brain can make sense of at this moment. And it's that he can somehow see the future or something. That would just, that makes the most sense to me. As for Historia, she is pregnant. So she's pregnant. 
And the people at the table were saying, oh, she decided to be pregnant instead of like inheriting the Titan. Now, is her pregnancy in conflict with Zeke's timeline to die? Like, is it in conflict? I don't. I mean, the way they're acting, it seems like it's in conflict. Now, I'm not saying that I want Historia to inherit the Titan. I don't know what the heck I want at this point. I have no idea. I'm just, well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just taking it in. Um, but let's say the intentions or the plan is still to inherit, you know, the Beast Titan. Like, I'm guessing by how they're acting is her pregnancy is in conflict with that timeline. But anyways, whatever it is, yeah. Anyways, as for Mikasa's people... They're clearly here for money. That's what we've established. They're not here for her or for anything. Like, they're just here to, to make money. That lady, we saw her with Will Tiber that one time, right? She was the one that pulled up. She was the one that pulled up on them um, before he went to give his speech and stuff like that. But anyways, y'all, it is tough. It's tough. For me, it's tough seeing Eden the way he is. It's tough to see the falling out in the group as we know it. I really hope things improve i really hate it like this show is incredible right now it's doing such a great job the storyline is top notch it's honestly a masterpiece to me anyways um but it's definitely painful like i hate seeing what's going on with the crew with everybody like seeing ed and you know lash out to hanji like that hanji bro what you know he's he obviously cares about everybody but Dang, what does he know? I don't know. Anyways, y'all, I don't have much else to say. It's still such a mess for me. Um, so I'll be ending the video here. Leave how you guys feel, thoughts down below, and no spoilers, please. And I'll see y'all again in my next video. So thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day once again. Yes, yes. Um, and then I'll see y'all again soon. So thank you and bye.